Well, sequence means it's like a list of numbers. Okay, so notice the commas here. So it's basically just a list. A series is a sum, you're adding them together. But a sequence is a list. Now, arithmetic means that you're adding the same thing to get to the next term. And that thing that you're adding is what's called D, the common difference. Now, why do they call it the common difference? Difference means subtract. If you take 21 minus 17, what do you get? Four. If you take 25 minus 21, what are you getting? Four. If you take 29 minus 25, what are you getting? Four. So what you can see is that common difference is actually what we're adding to get to the next term in the list or in the sequence. So that's why they call it D for difference. Now, the next thing I wanted to mention to you is that this is actually called n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, and so on. This means this is the first term, second term, third term. Now, another notation that you want to pay attention to is like a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4. Let's write over here a sub 5. That means the value of the fifth term. n is the term number that you're on, but a sub n is the value of that term, what that term actually equals. So now what we want to talk about is how do we find out what the term is right here? Well, notice this is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th term. Okay, so I'm just going to write n equals 6. How do we get to the 6th term? Well, you start off at 17, right? And then what you do is you add 4. Now, how many times are we adding 4? Well, we're adding 4 once, twice, 3 times, 4 times, 5 times. And a lot of students will say, hmm, you found the sixth term, but you add, added four or five times. How come not six times, you know? Well, the thing is, we're already on the first term. So to get to the sixth term, we only have to add four one less time, okay? So if we wanted to generalize this a little bit more, you could say, well, this is a sub one, that's the value of the first term, that's 17, plus d, that's the common difference, that's what we're adding to get to the next term and you want to add that d n minus 1 times. Okay, so in this case you're adding 4 or 5 times, so that's 20, plus 17, that's 37, which makes sense because we were adding 4 each time. So now what we have is we have a uh, what they call an explicit formula, meaning that it'll take you uh, right to any particular term. So let's write this in a little bit more general way. a sub n equals a sub 1 plus d times n minus 1. So for this problem we had uh, let's see, we had a sub n equals 17, that's the first term, plus our common difference, which is 4, times n minus 1. Now, what I would do is I'd clean this up a little bit by distributing, okay? 17 and negative 4 is how much? That's 13. And so now what we have is we have a sub n equals 13 plus 4n, and that'll allow us to find any term. If I want the hundredth term, I put in 100. That's 413, and you know, you've got it. So it's a real nice, it takes you right to that 